One word about the Social Security Trust Fund report comes out every April, so we have the most recent edition out right now, uh, most recently. And there was a little bit of a change to that, but the report said that uh, Social Security on the uh, old age part of the Social Security Fund, which is the retirement benefits, I don't really like calling it the old age fund, but that's what <laughs> it was set up to be. That's what it was called. It still yep. is called that today. Uh, we'll be able to pay 100% of retirement benefits until the year 2033. So we've got 10 years now, according to the latest report. That is a year earlier than the previous report. It was 2034 last year. So uh, down to 10 years of 100% of benefits. So if you're approaching, if Nick's approaching that uh, Social Security claiming age, you know that 10 years, nothing is going to change on your benefit. Now, that may not be of uh, great comfort to people who are not retiring right now, or even to Nick, who no expects to retire longer than 10 years. So what happens then? If nothing is done, if there's no legislative change, then the benefits would be slashed to 77% of its current level or of the current level then. So there would be a reduction in benefits if no action is taken by Congress by 2033. But here's what we know, John. Congress, uh, politicians like to get reelected, right? Oh, yeah. And we know every day that, that the age of this country is getting older and older. The big voting block is going to be seniors. Right. And, and, and really, even young people are going to be concerned about their Social Security. So sure. we do believe there will be action taking. We don't know what kind of action that's going to be. But somewhere between now and 2033, and my bet would be closer to 2033 than, than sooner, is there will be action taken that will continue the Social Security Trust Fund to pay 100% of benefits. And, Scott, here's my plug for early planning. Yeah. If you want to think that, that they're just going to do nothing and it's not going to happen, they're not going to fix Social Security, then if you're early planning and you come in and you say, okay, well, let's not count on what my Social Security projection is, let's count on 77% of that. Then if it's better, then you just have more money. But that is the benefit of getting started early in the retirement income planning process way before you're ready to retire, that you can do some things like that, make some decisions like that, that could potentially benefit you in the future.